Hello and welcome to the 2019 Imagine Cup season. I am here with uh, Anastasia. She's a program manager uh, here at Microsoft. And I am Pablo. I'm the global competition manager at the Imagine Cup. Welcome, Anastasia. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. So tell me about what you do at Microsoft. Uh, so I'm a program manager on the enterprise and security team. Uh, specifically, I work on some of our technologies uh, that are used to protect our users' identity when they're using Windows. Uh, and on top of making those users' experience very secure, we also uh, try to make it a very good user experience as well. That's awesome. And I recognize you. We've met before. Yes, we have. Uh, I was actually a participant uh, in the Imagine Cup a couple years ago. So my team was fortunate enough to win in the Canadian national final. Uh, and then we got to represent Canada at the world finals uh, in Seattle. That's awesome. I actually got to see your pitch in uh, the innovation category. It was, it was amazing. Fantastic job. Oh, Can thank you, you tell our audience a little bit about what your project was about? Totally. Uh, so our project name was Walkly, uh, and basically it was a personal safety app. Um, so we've all had these situations where we have a friend or a family member that's you know going home maybe from a party where we were at together, or they're just going to a friend's house potentially, and we tell them, hey, uh, let me know when you get there. And they say, sure. Uh, and then, you know, if we never receive a text from them, we just kind of assume, oh yeah, you know, they probably did get there um, and they just forgot to message us. So with this app, um, a user, but when they start a journey like that, they can share their destination and an estimated arrival time with a network of trusted contacts. And then if they don't make it to that destination on time, uh, then their trusted contacts would get alerted and told, hey, this person is here. Um, they didn't make it to their destination destination, maybe you should check on them. Uh, and then if they do make it on time, then the app would automatically check you in so that your friends and family wouldn't have to worry. That's awesome. And keep in mind, this was four years ago. This is way before Uber and Lyft and all that. And you know, we didn't know where people, you couldn't share your ride with anybody. You, they're rocking or taking a cab or whatever. So yeah. it's very innovative. I'm, I'm really glad you got to participate. Thank so you. for those of you who are interested in participating this season, we have a, a lot of new changes that, uh, for the season. We've uh, split the uh, regional finals into three regions, so Asia, uh, EMEA, which is Europe, Middle East, and Africa, and the Americas. And if you are in a country in that region, you can participate in either of those regional finals. We have different submission deadlines for each of those. So for Asia, the submission deadline is December 15th, and depending on when you're watching this, it may have already passed, um, but it's just around the corner, so you still have a chance to participate. For EMEA, that's on January 15th, and Americas, that's March 1st. And then we have the dates there for when we'll announce the, the finalists that will be going to um, Sydney, Amsterdam, and Seattle for those regional finals. For Asia, we'll be announcing on January 10th, for MIA on February 15th, and for Americas on April 1st. And there you can see the regional final dates. In uh, uh, mid-February, we'll be having the regional final for Asia in Sydney. Very excited about that. Um, and then again, uh, for Amsterdam and EMEA, we'll have that regional final on March 18th. Uh, what's, what's also changed is we have amazing prizes at these regional finals. So not only will the regional finalist teams be assigned a mentor to help you from your journey from being an online semifinalist to a regional finalist, you'll get an Azure grant for $1,000 so you can continue iterating on your project. You also get that trip to the regional final for your entire team. And at the regional final, you can win up to $15,000 in cash plus a trip to the World Championship for first place. Um, for second place, you can win 5,000, and for third place, you win 1,000 bucks. So really amazing prize. And then of course, um, there's the grand prize of $100,000 for the team that takes home the Imagine Cup trophy. Um, and yeah, very, very exciting to have uh, this different experience this year. And for, for those who want to get started, um, you can just go to imaginecup.com, and I will change my screen so you can see what I'm doing. And you just click on the register for 2019. So tell us a little bit about your journey. How, you, how did you get started with your team and like how you got started into the Imagine Cup? Yeah, I, so I first heard about the Imagine Cup uh, at a student council meeting, actually. Uh, one of the other members of the student council was talking about it. And for me, I loved competitions. I loved tech. Um, and so, yeah, I told a few of my friends about it who I thought might be interested. We put together a team, came up with an idea, and we just had a super awesome time building the project um, through the course of the school year. That's awesome. What kind of resources do you have? Like, if you needed help on your project or if you weren't sure like what the next step was to take, like, who did you reach out to? What kind of resources did you have? 
Um, I think we, we did a lot of talking with our fellow students. I think a really important part of the competition is making sure you have a good user story. So when you build this technology that you know might be changing people's lives, how are they actually going to use it? Does it make sense for them and how they use it? So we really leveraged our peers, I think, uh, running the pitch by them, seeing if they thought the idea was cool, seeing if they had any suggestions. Uh, and then we also, uh, later on in the competition, met up with some mentors uh, from Microsoft, actually, that were uh, sort of helping us kind of understand the Imagine Cup competition better. And they gave us some really great advice as well. And I'm sure you guys practice quite a bit. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> practice makes perfect, right? So yeah, I know it's amazing to hear that. Um, what, what kind of advice would you give to students that are unsure if they want to participate or if they're ready to participate in a competition like the Imagine Cup? Uh, I mean, I think it's just a super fantastic way to really decide if the tech industry is something that you're interested in. I think a really awesome part of the Imagine Cup is you get to do the parts of tech that you know are very, very fun. You come up with this brand new idea, uh, you take it through to completion with your team, and you get to see if it could actually change somebody's life potentially. Um, so I think it's just a really fantastic way to get involved um, and decide if this is something that you're really passionate about. Awesome. Well, if for those of you who are interested, again, imaginecup.com, um, we do have landing pages for each of those regional finals. So imaginecup.com slash Asia slash EMEA or slash Americas, and you get more information about what you need to do, a uh, team of up to three students, uh, what you need to develop, what the deadline is. Um, but what I really wanted to show you guys are the resources we have down here. One is you can get Azure for students, $100 in Azure credit for free, no credit card required. Um, Azure is required as part of the Magic Cup submission, so your project has to be based in Azure. Um, and also we have our GitHub page, which I will show you now. Um, it is, has a ton of uh, awesome labs that you can look at um, and use for um, your project. So if you have not done Anything in Azure, you want to learn about AI and machine learning, we have a lab for that, uh, big data analytics, deep learning. And within each of these, we actually have quite a few labs. So within AI, we have you know, bot services, we have uh, cognitive toolkit, custom vision. So if you want to use Azure to be able to uh, take a picture and analyze what's in the picture and, and describe it to you, maybe that's uh, an interesting uh, thing you want to do with your project. And what you can do is you can actually take the code from within this GitHub and use it as a base for your project. So really uh, encourage you to look through our, our labs on our GitHub page um, and take a look at uh, what we have there and, and see how that can get you uh, started uh, in launching your project. Um, for those that even need kind of a, a more rudimentary introduction to Azure, we have uh, Microsoft Learn. So that's aka.ms slash Microsoft Learn, or you can just search for Microsoft Learn. And here, what's really amazing is we have these uh, tutorials that have an Azure sandbox. So you don't even need to set up Azure. You don't have to have the student account. You can just go into these tutorials, and you'll have a little sandbox that you are actually coding and, and implementing within the sandbox as you go through that lesson. And the lessons go from you know, very rudimentary to introduction to Azure to uh, a lot more uh, in-depth, like working with Node SQL and, and, and Cosmos DB. Um, so there's a ton of resources um, that you have for you. Um, also, if you just go to docs.microsoft.com, essentially you search for any of the Azure services, and we have a full repository of documentation um, that includes code snippets for any of our products. So you know, this will help you also get started and kind of think about how you want to integrate Azure into your application. So a lot of resources out there and beyond what we have here, as Anastasia was saying, you know, reach out to your mentors in your university, uh, professors. Uh, I mean, really, we want you to encourage you to look beyond your team and get advice from all, all sorts of people. Um, so can you tell us about how that journey through Magic Cup has impacted you since the World Finals? Um, I mean, for me, it had a really huge impact uh, because I did this competition uh, throughout my second year of university, and at the time, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with my career yet. Um, but in doing the competition, I realized there were so many elements of Imagine Cup that I really liked, and I realized that I could incorporate those elements later on in my career working in technology. Um, so it was hugely impactful. Um, and I think I also learned a lot of really valuable uh, skills working as a team, uh, how to put together a roadmap for your project, uh, how to take it to customers, how to talk with you know media, and all these different niche skills that I think have really been beneficial to me in my career now.
Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I'm sure you put the Magic Cup in your resume, and I'm sure of course. <laughs> you brought it up in your interviews as well. It's, I mean, it's something that a lot of uh, our competitors in the past have used to kind of, uh, you know, jumpstart their career. So definitely something to consider mm -hmm. as you're thinking about the Imagine Cup. Um, we're really excited about 2019 and, and what we have to offer for all the students out there who are interested. Uh, any last words of advice you'd have for uh, potential Imagine Cup competitors? I mean, I think it's just a really fantastic opportunity. So if you're able to participate, go for it. I mean, this year with all the new resources and the really cool prizes, I can't really think of any reason why you wouldn't do it. I think it's like a perfect dream competition for any uh, computer science or just student that's working uh, with technology. Here you hear from uh, an Imagine competitor herself saying that you know <laughs> how her journey has impacted her and now she's an employee here with me at Microsoft. We'd love to see you guys join us on Imagine Cup, at Imagine Cup. Um, uh, again, uh, you can register at imaginecup.com. If you have questions, if you want to talk, um, just follow us at MSFT Imagine on Twitter. Um, we we're looking forward to seeing what you create, uh, what you bring to a global stage, and, and to see what you do after Imagine Cup. So thank you. Thank you, Anastasia, for joining us. Thank you. And uh, good luck to all of you who are uh, going to participate this year. Thank you. Bye-bye.